you know, a lot of people have been asking us some questions over the last six or seven months about what it's like to campaign in a district the size of Pennsylvania, what it's like to campaign as a young person. And so what we've decided to do over the last couple of weeks is put together a little video diary of what we've been doing and some of our travels around the second congressional district in New Mexico. So in the last couple of weeks we've been to Roswell and Carlsbad and Tularosa and Socorro and Valencia County and Albuquerque and a very large array and we just like to kind of show you uh, what we've been up to, what it's like to drive to all these places, what kind of experiences we've had in the car and talking with people and we hope you enjoy it and uh, hope you all are having a great time. That is the beginning of the Great Plains. We have just come down from the Sacramento Mountains and you will see no more mountains from here to Arkansas. <laughs> Um, a lot of dairy country out there, a lot of ranching country. When you go far enough over and you get to oil country, call it uh, Little Texas. We'll get to Roswell in about 20 minutes. And past that is Clovis and Hans and Texas. You run for office because you care about the things that makes life better for people in your communities. And I really, really care about health care. I went without health care insurance for nine months after I got back from the East Coast. Burning at the top of the stacks there. Artesia is, relies on the oil for their industry, for their jobs, oh, and for the construction on the roads. <laughs> Made a good meeting today. Uh, Catron County, New Mexico is the smallest county in our district down here in the south. There's only about 700 votes, and uh, they're actually the only county that didn't vote for Governor Richardson. It's very Republican, but you know what? It's still real important that we make the effort to get out to every county uh, in the district we're running in. And even Catron County. If you look around, there's not much here. It's mostly ranching and mountains. And it's uh, You know, it's still important to come out and listen to what people have to say and show people where you're at. So, this is where we're at. Well, we're going south on I-25. We've been in Valencia County all day, which is uh, Belen, Las Lunas, Bosque Farms, and Peralta. We're going to meet with the Democratic women of Socorro County. We just thought you guys might want to see these cute, beautiful sunsets we have out here in New Mexico. Can't beat them, man. I can take those experiences and those results and that attitude of getting things done to Washington, D.C. Because right now, a lot of times in Washington, people just like to yell at each other. And there's not a lot of focus sometimes on getting things done. And that, to me, is what a public official does. The second thing is... You're going to want someone in Washington who shows commitment. In my opinion, like I said, you run for public office because you believe in this stuff. You want to make people's lives better and you care about the issues that do that. Mexico, all they saw was a bunch of kind of empty plains between a bunch of mountains. But a few people decided, hey, this is the perfect geography. It's very high altitude. There's a lot of space to build the very large array, which is the world's largest radio telescope. And to do something like this, to build a project like this, it takes a lot of leadership. It takes a lot of vision. It takes a lot of guts and a lot of effort. And that's the sort of thing that we need to do more of in Washington. Scientific research is what's going to allow us basically to beat global warming and allow us to expand our horizons as people. And we need leaders up there that are willing to have some vision for the future of not just the district, not just the state, but of the world. That's what we're trying to do, going to Washington. Well, if you can see Bill there, he's about six feet tall. And uh, there he is standing in front of one of, just one of the 29, I think, or 27 telescopes here. It, they're pretty big. Did you catch that? He said, I'm sorry, I'm not as pretty as Jody Foster. And as you can see, we've kind of got up in the mountains and we've got good forest up here. It'll, the trees will get a little higher about 20 more minutes up the road, but this is actually the Mescalero Apache Indian Reservation. So we'll be going over these mountains, coming back down the other side to get to Roswell. I just want to say that this place over here, this cover-up cafe, their whole stick is, they look like a 1947 army base, right? And if you go inside, it's all like pictures from the 40s and big band music. 
but uh, Phil Zakahi was helping us out over the summer. We had breakfast there one time, and it's pretty good. So if you come to Roswell, um, keep it in mind. Also, as we're going on to Main Street now, you'll see all the alien stuff on each side, but you can see the alien head streetlights they've got here. It's pretty cool. And they've done a nice job with their Main Street downtown. It actually looks pretty nice. change all of New Mexico from a majority red to majority blue, and that is a big, big deal, and I'd really like your chance to be part Anyways, of it. Anyways, um, this is probably going to be the end of our diary for a while, so I guess good night, and I uh, hope you all are doing well.